sponsored by Theresa May. The search for Britain and Ireland's next top model is back. Heading up the hunt for the next top model is Elle McPherson, an iconic superstar whose career has spanned three decades. The judges helping Elle in the quest for Britain and Ireland's next top model are international fashion designer Julian MacDonald, award-winning top editorial stylist Grace Woodward and international model Charlie Speed. This year the prize package is bigger than ever. The winner of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model will get an incredible host of prizes to set her on the road to supermodel stardom. This year, the girls will be competing for a contract with leading agency Models One. A six-page spread and the cover of Company Magazine. A luxury holiday for two to the Sandals Royal Plantation Resort in Jamaica with business class flights courtesy of British Airways. A brand new Peugeot RCZ Sports Coupe to help get around those important castings. A cosmetics campaign with Revlon. And a £50,000 international campaign with Miss Selfridge which will feature in over 250 stores across the globe. This year, and for the first time, the judges are on the road as they audition across the country. In Glasgow, London, Cardiff, Birmingham, Manchester, and Ireland's capital, Dublin. Thousands have entered the competition, but there can only be one Britain and Ireland's next top model. So the judges first head to Julian's homeland, Wales. This is Cardiff! Woo! Elle surprises the streets of Birmingham. Any pretty girls around? In the audition room, there's tears. I want to do it for so long. Some of the girls show off their modelling talent. Bouncy! And the judges find it hard to agree. And I can shout as well too and go, whoa, 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 whoa! First up is Cardiff, where the excitement is building in the Welsh capital. I've always wanted to do it since a little girl, and I just loved to have the experience to do it, really. I've got loads of family rooting for me back home here in Wales, so I hope you can do it proud. And being Wales, it has to be top model judge Julian's turn to streetcast. And he brings a local friend to help. Thursday night, freezing cold, and we are looking for hot young girls. So whatever you may be, come out. You don't think I'm mad? Any tall one? No. <laughs> oh, look at all those gorgeous yeah. ladies. Unfortunately, they're all double the age of what we're looking for. Never mind. Never mind. It's all. No, it's sure. Five foot six. There's actually nobody. Cardiff's gone home. But I got to be you. You thought about me? I am, indeed. Oh, I love you. Yeah, I can't walk up the road. Anyway, go on. <laughs> this girl looks quite good. Oh, hi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Hannah Wells. Hi, I'm Julian MacDonald. You know who nice you are. To meet you. you know who I am, <laughs> Julian. I'm looking for girls who would love to come to the auditions tomorrow to see whether or not you yes. could get through to boot camp and go on the show. Oh, my gosh, yes, now that I've met you, definitely. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. My first girl in Wales! Oh, are they good-looking? Are they striking-looking? Striking. I think, I think they are. Fancy lounge for the very best in erotic entertainment. So I have found another blonde girl in Cardiff. You're gorgeous, you've got a really kind of young, fresh, elfin face. She can definitely walk in high heels because she's got the highest pair of heels on in the world. And do you do um, deep fried Mars bars? Oh, yes. You do? Oh, great. Elle wanted to try a fried Mars in Glasgow. Could I have a deep fried Mars bar then for Elle McPherson? And here they are. Well, she tears quite nice. After a successful evening scouting in the various bars, Julian calls it a night. It's the following morning and the judges and girls arrive at the venue. I can't 
Please, Mother Coffee. I've got a present for Ellen, my bag, by the way. It's the deep fried Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> a present. Really not a chance. I'm drinking oh. green stuff. Yeah. She's going to take it home for a tea. One of my health and beauty tricks. Yeah. Five things. And as they settle in, each girl has to get past the dreaded height restrictions. Six foot. For some, it's an early goodbye. Sorry about I'm that. Sorry. I'm too short, even though I'm taller than most men I know. For others, it's a chance to practice those walks and poses. I think I've got what it takes to be Britain with an island next to my day, because I think I was born for it. I tried to just know that I would work really hard, and it's something that I would love to do. So with the judges ready, the first group of girls get their chance to impress. And it's the girl from the valley who catches their attention from the start. I'm looking forward to meeting Julian more so because he's a Merthyr boy, which is just the next valley from me, so that should be exciting. Hello, I'm Lisa. I'm 23 years old. I'm a hairdresser in the Ronda Valleys. I'm single because, basically, I'm a bit of a man-hater. That's something that everyone knows me as. <laughs> why are you a man-hater? So That's a bit men. strange. What happened? Um, I just hate men. I love men as friends, but as boyfriends, I just... Mm. I think it's because I'm a bit of, like, a social butterfly and... I prefer going up with my friends and men, to be honest, so I have no time in my life for men. How would you respond to a male photographer? I love men, but not as in... I don't think anyone's good enough for me, basically. There's oh. no guy on the same level as me because I have, like, a certain type of humour. What makes you better than these two girls here? I'm full of character. I have split personalities. Sometimes I can come across as really shy. So you think you've got a fantastic, beautiful face? I think my face is workable. I can have a lot of looks to myself. Can you give me one of those looks? Like, I've, an imagery, like, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I can just, like, have a sweet look. And an angry just, look? I like, do sexy. So, angry? OK. <laughs> it doesn't look like angry, but there you go. Well, let's see the walking <laughs> Wait a second, huh? wait a second. I want to see the hair off the... the there's something weird going on with the hair for a hairdresser. Let, Ooh, me just put this, let me see, because I think you have quite good bone structure. And a nice shaped face, but I don't know how tall are you? Five nine. Mm, okay, let's have a walk. <laughs> it's very stiff, but I have seen worse. You do look a bit bored. If you look at Helena, Helena, beautiful girl. Looks like you've got a carrot up your face. <laughs> Tell us your name. It's Io Gamaya, David Assi, Amadeo Sunshine, Golden Thunder, Von Hippel. Wow, they really couldn't decide, could they? We're going to have a chat amongst ourselves, so if you'd like to step outside for a minute, we'll call you back in and let you know what we've decided. <laughs> Wasn't as scary as I thought? It's weird seeing them like that, though, isn't it? Yeah. So we don't think Mrs. I think I'm much better than everybody no else. Way. No way. I thought she'd be she'd fabulous be quite... in the room. I'm quite excited about it. Just hopefully now I'll get her to boot camp and just fingers crossed, really. I'd like to see her with the other girls. But she Well, be... like, I'm better than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Bad hair for a hairdresser. Oh, she went on and on and on. The whole thing I don't like. I'm like... <laughs> Do you don't want to have her in just because she's not a nice no. person? Ever. Yeah, that's the thing. We're going to have to You don't want her in because girl. she's not a nice person. Just be annoying. Welcome back. So we've made a decision. We're going to put one of you through today. We're going to put through the girl who has more names than I can remember. Really? Oh, thank you so much. That's all right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so wait, much. Wait, wait, wait a second. I, I just, I know that you guys are not 100% convinced, but I would like... It's 
to put through also miss I think I'm better than everybody else and I hate men. <laughs> um, because I but no, I see something in her. I see something in her besides a big mouth. Roll on ton of pandy. <laughs> Oh, you're crazy. Yeah. You think about you that. And I was like, yeah, I want you to go through. And then the other, and then Julian was like, no. And then I was like, no, 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 I wanted to go I through. I saw yeah. something. There is a big I, yeah. ju I just did. The hair was all wrong. But there's something. Okay, if she of... gets through, you can take her for makeovers. Well, I will. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with her, but I'll do something with her. Right, we can talk oh. of her. So the first group hasn't impressed Grace. Um, I'm doing a little bit of modeling at the moment. Modeling like it's a mouse goes. And things do not improve. Well, I've got short hair, so I cut my hair short as a bit of a statement. It's not really the hair that worries me. So I want like this. I want somebody to wake me up and go, wow, this girl is fantastic, and you just make me want to fall asleep. Sorry. Moving on to Miss Cardigan. Hello. What are you wearing? Which turned out looking worse than my nana. Three, two, one. You're not models, I can do that right now. She's so harsh. Give me the real stuff. Coming up, Julian shows off the results of his street casting. She was afraid of you, well. She, she dances with no clothes on. How can they shy? The clothes are off. Bouncy! Now you see why I wanted to take it off and show them. Yeah. And there's disappointment for some of the girls. Yeah. Keep trying, OK? Come here. This week, we're in Cardiff, where the auditions are in full swing with the first girls through to the semi-final. I see something in her, besides a big mouth. Next up are Julian Street Casting Girls. And for 21-year-old Charlotte, getting the auditions has come as quite a shock. Modelling has always been a distant dream. Oh, no. I'm a dancer. I've been working, well, for two years nearly, I have. And, um, well, pays the bills, pays the rent, I think so, you know. Um, personally, if I didn't have to do it, fair enough. But um, hopefully it can come out of it, you know. Thank you so much for coming. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, it's a lot warmer today than last night. Have you always dreamed of becoming a model? Um, I've always wanted to do it, I have, but I've never had, like, the confidence to actually just go out and sort of do it. I've always thought, I don't want rejection, and that's the only thing that's ever stopped me, to be honest. Why wouldn't you have the confidence? Um, I don't know, people knocking me back, really. Who knocks you back? Just people from school, and then because of me being so tall, I have said... I'd love to do modelling and people just laugh and say, oh, no, you can't do it. And that's probably what stopped me, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's really hard as a young girl to sort of look in the mirror and be objective about the way you look and then turn around and say, well, actually, I think I'm quite beautiful and I could try this job. It could be fate that Julian found you. Where did he find you? <laughs> um, he found me in work, he did. Um, Where's work? I'm a dancer, I am. What I'm... sort of dancer? Um, a lap dancer. That's really cool. Yeah. Wait, how did you find a girl yeah, on a lap dancer? So a, a lap dancer. So a lap quiet. dancer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's always the quiet okay, ones. Wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, listen. Maybe the confidence that we need to see as a model, because we're not seeing it here now. Mm. Maybe the confidence that we need to see, we'll see when you're You've working. You've got a pole in front of me, and I'm fine. It's like my real name is Charlotte, but when I'm in work, I'm Rosie, and I look at it like I'm almost acting. I'm two different girls, I am. Take that energy and do something for us and show us the other girl. Go on, you can do it. Um. Without the call. I want to see Rosie. Oh. Where's Rosie? It's really sexy. Well, yeah. your body's sexy, but your face, there's no eye contact. Okay, Rosie and Charlotte, nice to see you. It's, it's amazing that alter ego thing yeah. that she can but turn into. But she didn't even have the alter no. ego. I'm sorry. I think it's in um, her mind, the alter ego. It's like ego. drawing teeth. 
Sorry, she, Jules, but like I wouldn't put any of them through. Well, you know what? You've got to give people a chance. Yeah, give her a chance. Let's give her a I chance. I think we gave her a chance, actually. We gave her a lot of chances. They kept saying, come out, show me something. I almost fell asleep, actually. I, yeah. She was just shy. No, she was just intimidated. She was afraid of you. But she, t- she dances with no clothes on. How can be shy? So will Charlotte's lack of confidence stop her getting through? Charlotte. When you go through to the next round, we want you to bring Charlotte and Rosie. Thank you so much. You need to be strong, you need to be confident, and you need to fight to be in this competition. So this could make your dreams come true. Thank you so much, all of you. I want to make a new name for us dancers because we're judged all the time and to help people understand that we're like normal women, girls. So with Julian's girl going through to the semi-final, the judges get to see some more talent. Thank you. Dotty. Thank you. And the not so talented. Don't be shaking. I can touch my nose and my tongue. Okay. Not a model. You could just hold that for a second. <laughs> Gotcha! Run, I'm going to run. With Elle heading home early for a special night with the children... Oh, God, all that beauty is exhausting. Our remaining judges are left to fend for themselves. The morning auditions have come to a close in Cardiff, but there are girls still arriving hoping to get through. And first up in the afternoon is 19-year-old Alex. I think I'm a bit different to everyone else. I'm a bit bigger, but hopefully I can bring it and show everyone where I go and show that bigger is beautiful. So Elle's left us in charge this afternoon. The lunatics are taking over the asylum. I'm a plus-size model, just in case you haven't noticed yet. No, we didn't notice. <laughs> but a plus-size model is over a size 16 and you're not over a size 16. 14 to 16, I am. Well, it's actually a size 16 and up. Right, OK. You're kind of not a model, nor a plus-size model. Right. You're just kind of a normal girl, really. Right, OK. And it's not just good enough to say, do you know what, I'm a plus-size model, yeah. so I can be a top model. You know, it's really competitive. Oh, so, yeah, I understand you know, that. So what makes you a special plus-size model? Right, I'm very, 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 very determined. That's irrelevant. Nobody cares how determined you are. It's about how good you are. I can work really hard. Well, so can, a, so can a donkey. I wanted to show you one, my bikini. Um, have you got your bikini on? Do you want to show us? Yes, then? please. If you don't mind. Yeah, 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 Let's on. have a look. Now you see why I wanted to take it off and show him. <laughs> Give us a walk. Bouncy! Yes. Yes. Okay, moving on. Do you have a favourite model, somebody you aspire to be or look like? Um, Giselle. She was stunning. I wanted people to look at me and think. That's amazing. But like, Giselle is the complete beautiful. opposite to you. You know, she's a Brazilian yeah. bombshell. <laughs> she's probably one of the most successful photograph women in the world. You actually look nothing like that. The thing is, I think you look old-fashioned in that dress. Okay. And I think perhaps underneath all that makeup and that dress could be something. Why don't you exactly. come back in in your bikini? Exactly. <sighs> Oh, you look completely different yeah. now. You look like a 23-year-old young girl. I'm glad I got to show my bikini. <laughs> You're very pretty. I just don't think you've got that, that last little bit, you know? They said I was pretty, but they don't know if I've got, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Have Alex and Holly shown enough to impress the judges? Welcome back. We've made a decision. But with only one girl going through from the group, who will it be? Holly. Well done. Thank you. I'm just gay that the skin girls won again and I didn't. It's like no justice for us. Oh, I can breathe now. Oh. And as the Cardiff audition draws to a close, two girls make it through from the final group. Victoria. 
<laughs> but for 21-year-old Talisa, the rejection hits her hard. Are you okay? Come in. You know what? It's not the end. You can try again. You're a beautiful girl. Just today, it didn't work for you. Keep trying, okay? Come in, come in. Gorgeous girl. Thank you. Okay, take a deep breath. All right, girls. Thank you. Good luck. Thank well you for done, coming. girls. Thanks for coming. You can celebrate. Even if you cannot hear my voice, I'll be right beside you, dear. No, I didn't. Are you having second thoughts? Yeah. She was young. She was 18. What we could sort out, I mean, she was stunningly beautiful close up. He said I'm a beautiful girl and I, can, I, can, I should keep trying. I'm going to go get her. Yeah, let's go and get her. I'm so happy, but I'm so sad at the same time. Where's Talisa? Come in, come in. I'm taking a bit of a risk here. I just wanted the judges to get a really, really good look at you because I think your walk was all a bit kind of lumpy. Can we can actually, do you know what? Do you want to give us another go? OK, after three. One, two, three. Do you know what? What do, what do we think? I think we should take a vote. I've just gone out on the limb. I've gone and Thank got you, you so and I've seen something in you. And I think that you're so impassioned about it, it would be silly of us not to give you a chance. So I vote you in. Thank and then not just because of that, actually, I think you look great. Thank you so much. Cheers. You look really good. Lot. Well, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> I'm going to say yes for every young girl who had a dream like you. So, congratulations. Thank you so much. It feels great. I'm just so excited. I'm just going to tell my dad and everyone around me. It's good love for you. With Talisa, the last girl through, bid farewell to Cardiff and make our way to Birmingham. Coming up. Elle hits the shop streets of Birmingham. You're very pretty, but you're five foot nothing. Oh, that's a shame. The judges are split on some of the girls, leading to disagreements in the panel room. That girl could really get into the last three. No way. No, you can't. Yes. Yes. Britain and Ireland's next top model has gone on tour to find the next winner. And this week, we've been in Cardiff. And now we're in Birmingham. But first, it's time for our supermodel judge to scout the potential winner in the streets. OK, so I'm in Birmingham, and I'm just about to go into the Bull Ring, which is a shopping centre, to find my winning girl. What's fun about finding somebody on the street is finding a girl who had never even thought about entering into the competition or didn't have the courage to enter. I'm going to go into H&M and I'll come back and tell you if I found anyone, okay? Okay, so this is harder than I thought. <laughs> like, I checked out that girl there and then I thought maybe, no, she's just going to be too short. I see a girl going down the escalator while I'm coming up. <laughs> Nothing here. Okay, moving on. Mm. You look gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. you. Lingerie is always good. With your heart. She's such a teaser. She's such a star. Give me a reason or give me a chance. I'm all alone. Oh, look at this. Yum, yum. Thank you. Maybe I should make an announcement. Any pretty girls around? Anybody six foot? How tall are you? No. Hello. Hello. Let me see. Do a little dance to me. Give me an e. Wow. Do you think you can do a catwalk for me? Yeah. I'll walk you home safe. Let me do it. 
Charlie and Grace and Julian pick tomorrow. I just love everything about fashion and just like catwalk is my main thing. It's the morning of the Birmingham auditions and the girls and judges are arriving at the venue. You can hold this ring, watch how it listens. It was done as quick as the wind blows. The event will never be involved. So I give it Everyone's gorgeous. There's so many pretty tall girls here. So competition's high, but hopefully we'll do well. Now we're deep in way I've always wanted to do it, but never felt that I'd I'd be able to achieve it. And then this year, for some reason I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. Telling you one thing, number one, I don't understand. If you can't go a day without thinking about something, then you shouldn't pursue it. And that's why I'm here today. All I did was play twice from my only to my only. So what are you wearing? You're wearing these shoes, isn't it? Yeah. They're fun, aren't they? They are fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna go get changed. And with Birmingham ready to show off its talent, it's Amy who is first to grab Julian's attention, with the other judges wondering why. We're gonna start off with a lovely girl at the end. <laughs> Have you always wanted to become a model? This um, is... Yeah, I used to um, do a bit of modelling when I was younger, but I wanted to do my art first. And now I feel like I'm ready for it. The thing is, you've got a gorgeous skin colour and, you know, you're really porcelain skin. That's what model skins tend to look like. No sun, just completely fragile and just flawless. Unless, of course, you're Australian and spent yeah. many years <laughs> yeah, in the olive skinned <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> freckly. <laughs> How do other girls react to you? Because, obviously, you must stand out because you are definitely different. Yeah. And you're tall. You must yeah, be 5'11", right? Yeah, five eleven. I always said um, people were saying I'm quite intimidating when they first meet me. Should we see her walk? Yeah, yeah, great idea. You look like you've got poo under your nose. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. Try and like really neutralise it. Such form today. Yeah, just neutral, neutral. Just neutral, get simple. Not the most inspiring of walks, but I'm sure you can do something about that. Yeah, I think it went really well. I didn't on my walk though. That one didn't go very well at all. <laughs> I think we have found somebody, a very young Jade Parfit number one. Oh no. Yes. Jade really? Parfit is much, much less. No, much she looks she like Jade. Like she had a bad smell under her no, nose. No, I saw Jade the other does. day. She looks nothing like she her. She looks like Jade Parfit. That, that, you that, are that a, girl. You are a loony, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> that girl could really get into the last three. No way. <laughs> Yeah, yes. yeah, no, I'm not. Absolutely. I'm Do you not. know what? I, I, no, I have to say, she... when I saw her walk in, I thought, if you take off the makeup, no, they're not convinced. No. Julian, I, no. No. I, can I, was, can I, was I just say, I've been doing this for 15 years, and oh, just as long she... as all of us. 
us, George. No, Grace, Sorry. I'm a lot older than you. She is a model. The girl number one is a model. She <laughs> looks like a young Jane witch. Parfit. She is. She's she's a a witch. Witch. She does. A witch. She doesn't look like a witch. Yes, you can't can fix her face. Her face is fantastic. It's not. It's the best face, face I've seen since I've sat in this competition. Oh, she has to go in. Well, I've never seen that much enthusiasm from No, because yeah. I'm telling Julian. you, she has I love that. You're championing her. Yeah, yeah. she's got okay. it. Julian's found his heroine. It's you, Amy. <laughs> the thing is, Amy, you know, I see a lot of potential in you, where some others don't. But I think you remind me of a model called Jade Parfit. So what I would like you to do is to Google Jade Parfit. She's one of the biggest supermodels. I love the way you look. I think you could really do it. I just can't speak <laughs> at all. Really, really happy I'm free. Um, really thought I messed up the walk, but Julian and Madonna was really nice. I'm generally shocked. She's the first girl I've seen who I thought, oh. And when emotions run high with one of the girls... Okay, why are you crying? I just, it's, I'm just so passionate about it. And I've wanted to do it for so long. And I've always put it off because I just didn't think I was good enough. Sorry. And another Julian model type walks in. The people do tell you you look like a model, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> the disagreements continue. She's got a great face. But I think she's yeah. really boring looking and quite a boring person. Right, but that's what models look like. They look yeah, like Yeah, but you know what? I want some pizzazzle. You know, we're looking for another somebody that could be Elle or Naomi or somebody that's got something about them. She looks like a model, but it's just And like, I can shout yes. as well too and go, I want her to wake us up and be something <laughs> special, and she's just not. That's not she's model. Not Rock special. Line. I love my oh, job. Gosh, she is a model. Look at her. You know. Yeah, how she is, but she's a get? boring one. I think she is stereotypically model-esque oh, look, in the sense yes. that she's tall, she's got good skin, she's got a beautiful face, she's Kinda got a made. long neck. We can't make her develop a personality, but we can maybe zhuzh her look up a bit. Yeah. And with our supermodel turned peacemaker, the two mm. Rebeccas go through. Excellent. I'm glad she got through. <laughs> and as they celebrate, there's more success in the judging room. Who do you think is going through? I think it's her. <laughs> well, you're right, it is her. Maybe congratulations. <laughs> My name is Ufuma, and it means peace of mind in Nigeria. Okay. It's a great name. I do kickboxing for the anger and pole dancing for the flexibility. Oh, oh I like that. I like your walk. Thank you. I think you've got a very cute face. Thank you. Yeah. Rebecca is going through. Also, so we can all have peace of mind. <laughs> you know who's going through. Whilst more hopefuls arrive, the judges take a break, with one girl, Amy, still on their minds. I really like it. I think it's great when we find girls that you're really behind and then everyone else isn't, because you're like, come on, it's like being at the horse race. That's my girl. Coming up, the Birmingham girls find it hard to catwalk. Well, you look like you're walking down the aisle in the co-op. Glamour hits the panel room. It has been lightened. No, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and for one girl, makeup is the problem. <laughs> with Britain and Ireland's next top model judges and we're in Birmingham where so far the panel found it hard to agree. The face is fantastic. It's the best face I've seen since I've sat in this competition. Oh, she has to go in. OK, well, here we go. Oh. come on! Next up to bring some sparkle to the panel room is our girl from Liverpool. I just think with my personality and... My character that is positive and charming that I've got a good, really good chance of getting through. Hello. Hello. These lovely tall girls. Mm. 
Hi, my name's Laurie Payne. I've come from Liverpool. I'm 23 years old. Um, at the moment, I've just started a new job working in a school for deaf people. Mm -hmm. It's something I love to do to help people and bring people out of the shells and, you know, get to know them personally. I'm quite emotional, so I enjoy that bit of positiveness. It mm -hmm. kind of keeps me going, good karma and all that. Um, people are watching this. You know, yes. you are a glamorously beautiful girl. You know, Thank lovely you. tousled hair, Charlie's Angels, little black bandeau oh, dress. Thanks. There's one thing looking like that, and then there's another thing to look like a catwalk model. So do you think you can be versatile, or is this the only look you've got? Most definitely. I'm very versatile. Um, I can just, I'm like a chameleon, I can fit to anything you'd like me to fit to. Yes. <laughs> A chameleon. Um, so for a photo shoot, if you need me to be a rock chick or 50s with pink curls. I know that's I the thing, because all the that. things you talk about are all kind of glamorous, but if it was something perhaps a bit more serious, do you think when you strip that all away, there might not be much left underneath? No, definitely not. It's all inside as well. Good answer. I like that answer. I think we should have a... Yeah, I yeah. think we should see you strut your stuff, okay. madam. Do you remind me a bit of Abby Clancy? Do people say that all the time? <laughs> I wonder what you'd look like with like your natural colour hair and stuff like that. It's a bit more of a darky blonde, so it has been lightened. No, honestly. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be nice to have someone like that in the house. It'd be nice to have someone with, you know, because you've seen so many dull girls. Well, do you know what? Let's put a bit of glamour in the house. Oh, yeah, Julia likes glamour. What's her name? Abby Clancy. <laughs> With that, our new Abby Clancy goes through. Laura, Laura, Laura. Congratulations, both. <laughs> She's sexy. That's for men. Like that's a sexy girl. It was just a shock. It was. Ellen, everybody just looked fabulous. fabulous. So big. I'm just made up for Laura. <laughs> After Laurie's joy comes a friendly rivalry. Am I going mad? But are you two like look? We are not twins. Like we other. look alike because we do hair modelling. Are you friends? We are. Yes. Um, but we didn't intentionally go the same no. or anything. It was a catwalk, so we had to both walk and see who was the best. Oh. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> But friendship aside, only one makes it through, leaving the other in tears. One who looks like she thinks she's got it anyway, which is quite annoying. Deborah. Oh, thank you! Thank you! It's so annoying. <laughs> thank you! Thank you! She was so smug. And the disappointment doesn't stop there. Wow, you look like you're walking down the aisle in the co-op. <laughs> you need to look up. You're quite boisterous, you know. You're very, you know, you look like a boy walking. Oh, Thank you, girls. Good. Only two made it, but thank you, girls, so much for coming. We've decided that unfortunately none of you are going to make it through to the semi finals today. I'm personally got it. <laughs> I got thrown in it like a 12 year old, and um, I'm not very sexy, and I can't walk. We're looking for a girl that has the full package, and today I'm afraid none of you are going to make it through to the semi finals. I'm really sorry. Don't cry. Don't cry, Sarah. Um, I was a People's Choice last year, but I didn't make it through to the program. So I'm meant to believe that you can be like an Amazon that could sell. Me, a product, I've got to believe in you. The people? What are you thinking, people? What are you thinking? I did not expect her to say, you know, you're here to sell yourself, you know, is this what you've got? I'm telling you on camera now, you... <laughs> 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 I am coming back next year, though. <laughs> next up, Elle has a shock when her street casting girl walks in. Beatrix, what have you done to your hair? <laughs> I'm really sorry. After you um, spoke to me yesterday, I had to go to a salon and I did a hair shoot for them and they cut it and dyed it. And I wanted to dye it back, but then oh I wouldn't have made God. it to the audition.
She still looked attractive with that haircut. You can see straight through the barnet. You can still see she's got an amazing face, an amazing body. But hair can be changed, so Elves girls head to the semi-final. You'd like to put you both through. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. There's only one group left in Birmingham. And looking to make an impression is Tanya. And at the age of 23, it's her last chance to audition. Hanya Mihailovic. <laughs> Where would, does that name come from? That's from um, Yugoslavia. I'm mm -hmm. course a Serbian, so it's mm -hmm. from my um, dad's side, which I love, so... And what do Serbian women look like in general? Very, very beautiful. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just really, really tall women, really big eyes as well, Serbian women have. Can you give me three words that describe you? Goddamn sexy. Ooh, I like that. That's the first time we've had that. I'm all over it. Okay, so who, what would be your dream designer to work for? <laughs> you've always wanted to be a model. This is something you've dreamed of. Since I was three years old, I've been catwalking, practicing at home with my mum, driving her mad. So I've just always wanted to be a model. Because the thing is, you are a really pretty girl, but some advice to you. The thing is, because you have you know, the black lines over your eyes, you down, can't yeah. really see your eyes. You just see the two black rings. <laughs> that kind of masks your natural beauty, really. So less is more, really, is it? Always. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Always. Sorry. But Tanya's charm has not convinced the judges. Unfortunately... None of you will be going through to the semi-final today. And I'm tired of saying to girls, oh, no. you know, you can't wear all that makeup. Bear, right? If she'd come in while she'd been crying and just thought, you know what, I completely ruined this because I put makeup on and gone to the bathroom and taken off her makeup really quickly and come in bare face, she would have been in. She has what it takes. She's tall. She's slim. She's attractive. And I think... You can do things with that. Shall I go and tell her to take makeup off? Yeah. yeah. Take your makeup off, and come again. Go quickly. As Tanya prepares for her second chance, we find out why this means so much to her. I heard my daughter when I was about twenty, and I nearly died, and I had four hours to live. I needed to get over that first and then that's why I've come this year because last year I won't I just wanted to be with my you know my baby that's all so it won't come off oh, I can't break my faces entering the judging room for the last time Tanya prepares to hear her fate just take the jumper off because the jumper doesn't help either <sighs> yeah hold your hair back Okay. But with the makeup off, is this enough to get Tanya through? I'd like to give you a chance. Oh, thank you so, so much. So, well done. And I think together we can do something really interesting yeah. with you. Mm. You've definitely made it through to the semi final. And brave girl for going and taking your makeup off, because that is not an easy thing to do with that black eyeliner on. But you're through. Well done. Yay. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Had to be, be stronger. I have to be confident, and I'm just, just thank you so much for the second chance. It's just amazing. And as Tanya celebrates with the other successful girls, this week sees girls from Cardiff and Birmingham making it through to the semi-final of Brooklyn Island's Next Top Model. Will one of them be the next winner? arrives in Dublin and Manchester. Elle hooks up with Roland Keating for advice on where to go street casting. Yeah, I reckon Grafton Street. Julian throws one girl a lifeline. Can you come back? Is it all on the spot?
heart. She's really special. And another girl just isn't happy. You don't look like a girl in Vogue magazine. But why? You can tell Grace I think she's We've teamed up with Diet Coke to give you and a friend the chance to win a day's VIP ticket to Britain and Ireland's next top model live from 28 to 30th of October at London's XL Centre. Be a VIP for the day with £1,000 spending money. To enter, simply answer this question. Which judge opened BNTM live last year? A. Grace Woodward. B. Julian McDonald. C. Charlie Speed. To enter and for full terms and conditions, go to sky.com forward slash guy living. Entrance must be over 18. Closing date midnight, 31st of July. So you've just seen Grace in super scary mode, but guess what? She really does have a softer side for her respects. She's empowering us girls in new chick fix tomorrow at 9 on Sky Living HD.